Willie Lynch, man, he just messed black people up. I mean, he did what he, you know, wanted to do, but it just messed black people up so bad because hatred is really the black man's love. Like, well, what do you mean, Juwan? Well, if you look at it categorically, you know what I'm saying? Like, the way black people treat each other, like, you walk past somebody, you got a grin on them. You know what I'm saying? Man, what the fuck you gritting on me for? Man, I don't give a fuck with that nigga gritting on me. You know, that's the type of nigga I am, but, you know, what you gritting on me for? What you looking at me for? You know, don't nobody want to tell nobody, man, I love you, man. Keep your head up. Like, we can do this shit. You know, black families don't traditionally hug. You know, like, in the family, oh, man, they don't hug. They don't say I love you. Like, if you say I love you, they be like, oh, I like you too. Or, you're like, the, he isn't planted the seed of hatred so far in black people. You got, for some odd reason, you got families out here that will not tell their loved ones, especially the older generation. They don't believe in saying the word love. They be like, we love you, we show you love, we buy you shit. Man, it's a difference than telling somebody. You know, if you give a nigga a raise, say a nigga on a job, you give him a raise every three months, you don't say shit to him. He don't know whether he's doing a good job or a bad job. I mean, anybody about to get ready to stay there long enough. But if you tell him, man, you are doing an excellent job. And this is what we're going to do for you. Every time you do a good job like this, you're going to be compensated. So much we love you. I mean, you'll see a total difference in, in the production of that individual because you display some communication to him, man. That's the same thing with black people. We don't get nowhere because we got people down in us, man. Our baby mama's down in us. Uh, the grandparents down in the kids. So the grandkids don't respect the parents because the grandparents got money and, you know, it's just a whole ball of hatred. Nobody respects nobody. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, back to that Ferguson issue and, and, and uh, Trayvon Martin, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace, God, you know what I'm saying, rest their souls. Um, but, I, you know, a lot of people say you know, with black, black, white people killing black people and they ain't doing shit about it. Bro, if you look at this shit for real, and this saying, they be saying, I say this about white people and that. It's the truth. If you look at it, look at slavery, look at the 60s, look at the 70s, the 80s, and 90s. White people have been killing everybody. I mean, they've been killing black people a lot in this country, but they've been killing everybody. But the thing is, what have black people been doing? to other black people. I mean, every time, you know, a white and white people scared of niggas. I mean, they should be. Look what they fuck they did to us. You know, and niggas are threatening looking. You know what I'm saying? You gotta factor all that into the equation, but ask yourself this question. When you read the newspaper, what do you see more? Black on black homicide or a white man killing a black man? I mean, cause keep it a band. Man, if niggas came out and protested against other black people like they do against white people, bro, we probably wouldn't have no whole lot of homicides. Bro, there's way more niggas out here dying than, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't like saying the police right or they wrong. I don't know shit about their case. Only thing I know is that a white dude can kill a black dude and he gonna get off, right? But niggas kill niggas every day. Ain't expect nobody to say that. Like, that shit crazy. Like, it's like black people like, you know what? We can kill each other. You better not tell nobody nothing. But, and we can do this all day long. But as soon as a white dude come in here and kill a black dude, we're going to drag him. But, you know, if he get convicted or he get off, we're going to ride and all this. But guess what? When we go back to the hood, we kill more black people. This shit don't even make sense to me, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Niggas got to stop killing niggas first. First, man, before anything happens, black people need to stop killing each other, hating on each other. Then we need to focus on what the fuck white people and Chinese people. And we don't even really need to focus on what they're doing. But, you know, if you want to look at how other races treat us, let's look at how we treat ourselves. Because they say you can only judge a country based on how it treats its citizens. Okay, cool. You judge a race of people. But how they treat their own fucking people. <laughs>